Hello students, I am Nishu Aroda. Today in this video, I will explain you about pressure and its practical applications. In the pre previous video of chapter 11, Force and Pressure, I explained you about force and its effect. Now can you explain the reason why a broad object can't be hammered into the wall and why a sharp nail can be hammered easily? The reason lies in the effect of force in the terms of area on which it acts. Now the combined effect of force and area on which it acts can be described by a quantity called pressure. Now pressure is defined as the force acting on a unit area. Its formula is P is equal to F upon A. That means for a given force, smaller is the area of contact, higher is the pressure exerted by it. As you can see in the case of knife, when we cut anything with knife or scissor, we use sharp edge because there the area is less. When the area reduces, the effect of force increases and this happens oppositely in the case of bag when the area of contact is large as you can see in the strap the strap is broad when the area increases the pressure reduces so the child feels less pain on its shoulder now pressure is there in liquids also you can see with the help of an activity we can explain that pressure exists in liquids. In this bottle, if we make two or three holes at different heights and then we fill the wat water in the bottle and we can see this, like in the upper one, upper hole, the pressure will be less and in the middle one, the pressure will be medium while in the lower hole the pressure is highest now this happens because the lower hole that holds the pressure of the upper liquid so that's why that explains you when you go very deep into the ocean the pressure increases thank you